Hey everybody, this is Phoenix Down, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. In the last episode, we broke into the Imperial Magitech Research Facility in our efforts to rescue the Aspers they are still being held captive by the Empire, having their magic drained away to fuel their Magitech weapons. So now we're down here in the dump. We saw Kefka finishing off his uh, business with a couple Aspers and sent them down here. But before we do anything about that, Last time, I missed a couple treasures in the upper levels. And I need to go back and get those. They aren't anything really useful. At least I don't think so. I mean, some people might have better uses for them than I do. But I still want to get them to showcase them. If you complete the Magitech Research Facility, this is one of those locations that you can never return to after you do so. So in order to get back up to the upper levels, you get to where I'm standing now, you face upward, and you grab onto this hook here. So we're gonna lift up. Yeah, back up to this place. You saw this point earlier. Anyway, it, the treasures that I'm after are over to the left. There's one just right here. We got some Dragoon Boots. You equip those as a relic and it replaces your fight command with jump. So it basically functions the way Kane does in Final Fantasy IV, or just the Dragoon in Final Fantasy V. You basically leap into the air, you can't be hit by enemies, and then you come down and attack the enemy from above. And you do double damage if you have spears equipped. So only certain characters like Edgar and Mog really take advantage of that. Alright, took care of a couple proto-armors. Anyway, the last treasure I want to get is up this way, and... And through this door up ahead. Yeah, we saw this before. Anyway, during that last battle, Sabin learned all of his spells for having Siren equipped. And we get a gold shield. It's a gold shield. So I'm going to uh, change up my equipment and everything, and I will meet you guys back down at the garbage chute. Alright, we're back down here in the garbage chute. So uh, in order to progress forward, well, this Asper's blocking the door. Unfortunately, she's not responding. I'm assuming it's a she. And we are going to have ourselves a battle against some flans. This is the only room you can fight these guys in. You have a uh, chance of stealing, well, you can steal tonics from them. But, well, maybe that's not so much stealing as dropping, but you can get magicite items from them, which basically function as a random uh, summon of an Asper, even of ones that you don't actually have in your possession yet. So you can get like some of the most powerful Aspers randomly at your beck and call with using those as items. So let's see, uh, we didn't get one unfortunately, oh well. But in order to progress we want to talk to this guy after I do a little bit of quick healing. I found out on the way down here that Celeste can use the runic blade to absorb uh, the tech laser from the proto armors. So I thought that was cool. So let's talk to this guy, maybe he'll be more, more responsive. Whoa! Yeah, I guess that, that's what you would call responsive. And it's time for a boss battle against Ifrit! Guess we should have saw this come in. I don't know why I just had Lox try to steal because he doesn't have anything. Ifrit is susceptible to ice elemental attacks. And he absorbs fire, so do not use Fire Dance on him. And I believe he nullifies uh, Aura Bolt. So use Pummel or Suplex, I guess. And have Edgar use like Chainsaw and whatnot. And unfortunately, his defense is pretty high, so Locke and Celeste will not do much damage with physical attacks. And here comes Fire 2. Crap. Ow. Yeah, Celeste, you're a little late on that one. But if you're fast enough, unfortunately, Edgar went for the instant kill move, which does not work on Ifrit. If you're uh, fast enough, you can defeat Ifrit quickly, and, uh, well, that, that's kind of an oxymoron. But if you wait long enough, if Freet will actually switch out with his, uh, okay, here we go. And now, now Shiva has entered the, entered the party. So now we get to fight her instead. And then she has her own, uh, HP pool. I'm actually gonna have, uh, Celeste do some, uh, healing this time. Fortunately, she still had Runic active, so she got some MP back there. And these Aspers do not have anything worth stealing. But I am going to blast her with a fire dance. Ah, uh, Edgar, stop going for the instant kill. Stop trying to be Jason from the Friday the 13th movies. It doesn't do any good against bosses, usually. 
looking for another chainsaw. All right, it freaks back into the fray. All right, Celeste is going to Runic. Fight with Lock. And let's go for another Pummel Seven. This will hopefully finish the job. Nope, okay, here we go. Let's do another Runic. Get a chainsaw going. Ooh, critical hit, all right. Another Pummel, ah, come on, Edgar. Don't make me use the drill, it does less damage. This will hopefully, f okay, here we go. He senses a kindred spirit. They don't know who we are, but we have Ramu's power. We're Aspers. And the battle is over. Well, Ramu did entrust him with his power. That is true, if we got Ramu's power. So now, if we talk to the Aspers, you know, Gestal grab has grabbed our friends and is trying to drain them of their power. I too suffered my turn in one of the glass tubes. So you talk to him again and, uh, oh yeah, talk to them both. They drained our powers, then threw us away too. We haven't long to live. We will follow Ramu's lead and give you, give to you our power. So now they have transformed into Magicite. They don't have much time left. They have no choice but to entrust us with their essences. So now we've acquired, or received, the Magicite Shiva. And Ifrit. So let's uh, check those out, because I know Sabin for sure could use, well, I switched him over to Ramu, but but we can get, uh, we can boost our strength by equipping Ifrit. And Shiva, she unfortunately doesn't give you stat bonus, bonuses, bonuses, but we do gain a new uh, ice magic from her, so that'll be good later on. I'll leave Sabin with Ramu for the time being, just because he's working on that. Edgar's still working on Siren. Uh, I'll leave Locke on Kieran just long enough to learn Antidote and Regen. You can learn Cure 2 faster later. Uh, Celeste is Stray. You're still working on Stray. All right. Well, we'll check out those new guys out later. So anyway, let's press on through the Magitech Research Facility to the next area. We have some staircases to climb. And a new enemy, the General. Which also has pretty high physical defense. I guess I'll have Celeste Runic because I don't know what they're gonna do. But Fire Dance and Flash should uh, finish him off. It's pretty much the best combination to go with in this area. In most cases. Oh, he's down. So Edgar's gonna finish this guy off. He's gonna blind him with the light. And let's move on and lock learn antidote and we got a green cherry in case we ever get imped again. Onwards and upwards. And just a couple more generals. Now we're in the next room. We're in the research facility now. We have the glass tubes. This must have been where Ramu and his friends were all kept kept at. If we come down here, there's this little hidden area. And we receive a break blade, which is a pretty powerful sword. I'm going to give that to Celeste for now. Look at that increase to her battle power. And it also has the random chance of inflicting the break spell on uh, on enemies, which turns them to stone. It's basically an instant kill move, essentially. That should be good. Not overly concerned with Celeste's MP. And we have some new enemies, the Gobbler and Rhinox. Yeah, these guys, uh, they can be pretty tough, and Sabin's been silenced, so hopefully he can still aura bolt. So let's flash. Oh, he took out the Rhinox already. The Rhinox has the ability of casting life three, assuming he actually has enough MP to do so. But he doesn't, so that's not something to worry about, which basically is like an auto revive. So uh, Sabin will finish off the Gobbler. I don't remember if the silent status uh, carries on after battle or not. Sabin learned Bolt. Edgar gained a level and learned Sleep. All right, we're working our way up. So let's continue on this way. All right, Celeste gained a level. Unfortunately, the Gobblers, when they're by themselves, will cast the Shim Sham attack, like the uh, 
those uh, vultures from before. Anyway, we have this weird looking guy here. Let's, uh, he, uh, he doesn't look very friendly, so let's heal up first. Touch ourselves up a little bit. Okay, that's close enough. Let's see how we doing. Yeah, we're good. We're good there. Yeah, I think I'm prepared. So let's talk to this guy. He's... Well, it's time for a boss battle against number 24. Overflow. Ooh. Forget what that does. Ooh, we stole a drainer. That's the rare uh, steal from him. Awesome. Anyway, against this guy, he is one of those uh, bosses that in Final Fantasy games that changes his weaknesses, but he is uh, susceptible to the imp spell. Seven, do you have a... You do not have the spell I'm looking for. Unfortunately, I missed. So, fight lock. Edgar, go for the chainsaw. Alright, he's weak to holy attacks. I'm gonna have Celeste, uh, well, I'm gonna have Celeste do a uh, scan. So let's confirm his weakness. Going for another overflow. Oh crap, that causes uh, confusion. Uh, I don't want to hit him with, uh, with lock. And he has not established a weakness yet, that's what it is. Alright, I'm going to try again with uh, the imp spell one last time with Celeste. He doesn't have anything left to steal, but Locke is going to try anyway, because you never know. So let's see if I can turn him into an imp this time. That'll make him uh, easier to deal with. Alright, we've done it. He's an imp. Holy crap. Maybe that wasn't the best course of action. Ah, jeez. Wait, what am I doing? I don't have a... Oh, no. I got I to gotta snap Edgar out of that. Uh, Sabin, I don't want to do this, but... Can you hit Edgar? Beat up your brother. Ah, crap. Nuts. Uh, okay, fight. Celeste. Heal us. This battle is not going quite as well as I would have liked. And there goes lock. Alright, chainsaw. This wasn't the best course of action. I gotta get somebody to cast sleep on this guy. He's also susceptible to sleep now that I think about it, but Celeste does not have that. Oh, okay, we've killed him. All right. Now we watch the imp slowly disintegrate into nothing. All right, we got some magic points. Edgar learned mute and slow. And we got the blizzard sword, which is the normal drop here. I'm going to take a moment off screen to heal up, and then I will be right back. Okay, that didn't take long at all. I didn't bother topping everyone off completely. That could have gone a little bit smoother, but... It went well. Yeah, I turned him into an imp before he could start using the wall change ability. I'm actually surprised he didn't do that sooner. But anyway. Oh, we found the aspers. They're all in the glass tubes here. I don't think there are any battles in this room. So basically what we have to do is come up here. We have this little switch here. We may as well pull it. You want to help me, but I haven't long to live. Just as Ifrit did before me, I'll give you give to you my power. And they've all turned into a uh, magicite. What are you doing there? Who's this guy? Oh, uh, it's a Sid. Is that a hazmat suit? What's going on? What's this? It's like glass. It's not cloudy at all. This is like this is art. So, Esper magical power can only truly be transferred when one of them passes away. Ooh, and they broke out of their uh, seals, and we've acquired lots of magicite. We got magicite! Six more Espers at our disposal. Professor Sid, 
General Celeste, then who might these dubious characters be? Your troops? No, you see... Could it be true that you came here as a spy seeking to cause an uprising? Wait, what? Celeste? Locke, no, 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 don't start questioning her. We got to change her name. We had the option. Oh, here comes Kafka. So that's it. Magicite. Sid, you miserable blockhead. Now. General Celeste, the game's over. Bring me those Magicite shards. How do you know that they're even called Magicite? Celeste, you deceived me? Of course not. Have a little faith. <laughs> she has tricked you all. Celeste, that's so you. Uh, you what? Look, please believe me. I... Fuck. Now, get them while they're depressed. Exterminate all of them. And boom, whoa. And Sid goes running. Celeste managed to get out of the way at least, but that's not cool. Slock, let me protect you for once. Maybe now you'll believe me. What are you going to do, Celeste? Celeste, what's going on? Celeste, well, what are you doing? Stop it! Whoa, I think that may have just been the warp spell. Celeste just uh, took Kefka and all them away. And she's gone. We, we're missing a party member. Celeste, we just lost our runic blade. Not that we used it that much, but we lost Celeste. If Cyan were in your party, by the way, he would have we he would have been like, I knew it all along. And just like accept that Celeste was a traitor all along without even questioning it. Ooh, ooh, what happened? What happened? I'll I'll show you what happened. Yeah, this is what's happening. This is this is a disaster. Your fighting has caused the capsules to rupture. Their contents are spilling out. Uh, I think they ruptured beforehand. Quick, over here! And let's, uh, well, let's get out of here. We take the elevator with Sid. So, yeah, the uh, Magitech Research Facility, it's kind of falling apart now. Kefka's used me. Used the Empire. What have I done? What have you done? You made all these machines, you created the technology to suck life out of Aspers. So on and so forth. Exactly. The life energy of those Aspers. You've helped me come to a decision. I'm going to talk to the Emperor and have this stupid war stopped. Well, good good for you, Sid. Good on you. You do that. Game. There we go. So you do that, Sid. In the meantime, I am going to save my game. And next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI... We are going to escape from the Magitech Research Facility, minus one party member, unfortunately, and uh, see if we can uh, use any of the Magicite to help Terra. So this has been Phoenix Down, and I will see you guys next time.